Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchi Rodeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present Weekly Contest 301. The first question that I have chosen to solve is move pieces to obtain a string. Here in this question, we are, you are given two strings, the source string and the target string that contains three types of characters, left, right and space. Left character can move towards the left, right character can move towards the right and spaces are the fillers. What we need to do, we need to identify whether by performing these, these operations, moving the left character towards the left, right character towards the right, it, it is possible to obtain the target string from the source string. If it is possible, then we need to return true, otherwise we need to return false. So let's walk through a couple of examples here. Here the first string that is given to us is start as space left, double space right, double space right, uh, followed by a space. The target string that we have is this one. So what we have done, we have moved the left character towards left by one unit. So it gets occupied over here. And the right character, this one moves towards right by one unit. It reaches this particular position. And this right character moves by three units towards right. And finally, we get the target string. Therefore, it is possible to generate this string. Hence, we can say that this conversion holds true. Let's walk through the next one. We have right space left space the target string is space space left right so as you can see uh, you can't generate uh, space space left right from right space left space therefore we turn false in those cases so without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation where i'll be walking you through couple of test cases and let's devise the algorithm together also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general Please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. This is a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. The first test case that I have chosen is a very trivial one wherein the source string is given to us as R, the target string is given to us as L. And if I ask you guys whether this conversion is possible, you will say no. Why are you saying so? Because the character, uh, both are different in source string and target string. Therefore, the character needs to be equal in order to check whether the conversion is possible or not. Very trivial case. Whenever you see uh, different characters, uh, use abort the process and return false in those cases. Let's walk through the next case where we have write space as a source string and in the target string we have space write. So if I ask you guys whether this conversion is possible, then you guys will say yes that is definitely possible what we are doing we are moving this character towards right by one unit what do we get after the conversion we get something like this as you can see the source string has become equal to the target string which makes it a happy case therefore we need to return true in such cases so what is the takeaway from this yes case the takeaway is since both the character under consideration are equal what comes into consideration the relative ordering of these characters since the character is r it can only be moved towards right so let's analyze the relative ordering of both these characters in the source string r is present at the 0th index in the target string r is present at the first index and r character can only be moved towards right therefore we can say that such a configuration is possible because the positioning of r in the source string which is represented by i let me just write this i s which re which makes the position of r in the source string should be less than the relative positioning of the same character in the target string so i t represents the relative positioning of r in the target string i s represents the relative positioning of r in the source string so if this condition is met then we can say that uh, the configuration is possible and if you analyze it up here the value is 0 here the value is 1 it is less than equal to 1 it makes it a happy case so let's talk about that particular case which will give us negative result which is false so this time I have swapped the source string with target string and if you carefully consider the value of both the characters under consideration is same which is R R. so what comes into play the relative ordering what is the relative ordering of R in the source string? It is 1. What is the relative ordering of R in the target string? It is 0. Since the uh, target string index 
is lower in value than the source string index which is 1 therefore we can say that there can never be a configuration where you can move this r towards the left because as per the question r can only move towards right it makes it a, a false case a negative case and we have to return false in those cases and if you carefully analyze this condition that I have just talked about is is less than or equal to it doesn't hold true in this particular case it here is 0 and is here is 1 so this is 1 this is 0 let's move towards the other set of test cases with respect to the left character if you carefully analyze then the character under consideration in the source string and target string again are equal so what comes into play the relative ordering what is the relative ordering of left character in the source string it is one what is the uh, what is the position of the left character in the target string it is zero and if you carefully analyze then the left character in the source string can only be moved towards left therefore we can say that such a configuration is possible because one is greater than or equal to zero so here the condition is reversed why is it reversed because the character can be moved only towards the left direction so here it should be i s should be greater than or equal to i t and if such a condition holds true then we can say that uh, the configuration is possible and we should return true in those cases here i s represents 1 i t represents 0 let's move towards the negative case as well so let's assume that this is the target string and this is the source string if you do that then if i ask you guys what is the relative positioning of l in the source string it is 0 and here it is 1 so is it possible to generate the target string out of the source string no it is not possible it, it is already at the leftmost character therefore this condition doesn't hold true and hence we need to return false in those cases so we, here we will return false now you have analyzed all the possible cases first the value should be equal next the relative positioning should be equal and let's conclude uh, by going through the coding section and i'll club these test cases together to form the algorithm the first thing that I have done here is to compare the lengths in this of the start string and the target string. Moving ahead, in case they are not equal, I return false in those cases. Moving ahead, I have created two pointers: one for iterating over the start string, other one for iterating over the target string. Using a while loop, I, I, I iterate over the start string and target string till the time I don't reach the determination. Uh, the first case that I have written here is to skip spaces in the start string. Similarly. I write another while loop in order to skip spaces in the target string because spaces are not relevant. What is more relevant? The right, the left character or the right character. And moving ahead, in case I have reached the termination state in both these strings, that means it's a happy case. We return true in those cases. Proceeding ahead, uh, what do I we need to check? The first case that I talked about in the presentation, if my character uh, in my start index is not equal to the target character in my target index, at my target index that means both the characters are different under consideration we have to abort the process and return false in those cases otherwise we proceed ahead and that simply means both the character under consideration hold the equal value what do we need to do we need to check the relative ordering afterwards so here i have written a if if condition if my target character happens to be equal to left so if my target character happens to be equal to left and we know that the same character does exist in my start string otherwise this con condition would have rejected uh, and returned false from here since it proceeded ahead we can say that both the characters are equal what is the abortion condition the abortion condition is let's go back to the presentation uh, the abortion condition this is a happy case i s is greater than or equal to i t so what would be the reversal of this condition it would be equal to i s is less than i t so let's check whether i have written the same condition or not Yes, I have written the same condition here and if both these conditions are met, we return false in those cases. Similarly, let's look at the right uh, for the right character as well. And here I've just reversed that condition up. So in case my index S is greater than uh, index T, I have to abort the process. Moving ahead, I simply increment these pointers to complete the entire traversal over both these strings. Uh, if none of the abortion condition is met, we return true in those cases. So let's try this up accepted the time complexity of this approach is order of length of 
start and target string and the space complexity is uh, constant time we are not using anything extra with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll be providing the rest of the solutions in the description below so do check that out